Welcome back to Amanda Plays Games. We're back in the Outer Worlds. I don't even think I said anything like that last time. I was too distracted. We, in the last episode, defeated some... Cannibals? And now... Oh, Sam. And now we're on our way to find To find a wee baby boy that I don't think is actually a child. I feel like it'll be, um, like in Fallout 3 when we got sent to find that girl's brother. And I thought that a child had been taken, and it turned out to be a full-grown man. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights. I'm headed to Amber Heights. I'm gonna cut through right here. Maybe. Does this belong to people? Nope. I'll take it. Are you guys bad guys? Where to go? Oh, there he is, right in front of us. All right, Amber Heights. Nice, nice. Oh, I'll take it all. Tucker, your mommy sent me to come get you. I'm hoping for all of our sakes that you're not a full-grown man who has decided to make adult decisions and his mother can't handle it. Hello, Rose. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. I didn't. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Uh, who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Okay. Uh, no problems? What about Rapjons or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. Are you guys a You're cult? You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. 
Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Uh, tell me where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Mm, why are you here and not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Thank you kindly. Good luck. Disarray level analysis. Utter and total chaos! Oh no. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Yeah, huh. An agitator and a revolutionary. His armor is wild, isn't it? A rioter. Tucker. Of course, he is not a small child. Looks He's like a I'm not the only new grown face man here. What do I call you, stranger? Not even a teenager. He's like so grown up. I'm Captain. Welcome Amanda. to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. Hi, Tucker. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No, your mommy sent me. Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. I can Haven't see that. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. Oh, jeez. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled oh, by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Uh, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Lay down the law. You've survived outside of Stellar Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> you're right. I can do this. I mean, you're 42 years old. I just need to old. stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. There you go. Be your own man, honey. What a nightmare. 42 years old and Mama is sending people out for him. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are gonna go tits up around here. Anyone else, as long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders out whenever you can. Steam coming out of the roof. The pipes on top of my house are gonna burst. They're leaking steam. Someone ought to fix it before they explode or steam hurts somebody. I don't have enough engineering capabilities here. Uh, I don't have enough science either. Looks like sprats chewed through the wires inside the bar. They're sparking up a storm. We ain't heard from the raft house in a while. Sent Milton over. Ain't heard from him either. Someone needs to go check it out. Dear diary, eat it. Nice hucks. The door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and is completely sealed. Can someone get this thing opened? I can. 
Emergency seals lifted. Work order completed. Ba -bum. I did one. Okay. No. I thought this was something I might want to know about. Agnes. This one is evicted. A revolutionary, a rioter, and a rioter. A trash cube. Yeah, look at him. He just keeps making them. Fuck weird, Carl. I don't think he can hear you. Ah. The zone. I got hurt. The trash cube zone. You gotta admit, they're convenient. Fit together real nice. Oh, that's trash, true. Trash. I don't care what you Craft I see. I see what's happening. The wires that the sprats were chewing on. Okay. This armor itches something awful. I believe it. An agitator. A rioter, a rioter, a rioter. Ash! Never seen you before. Hello. I've never seen you before either. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Hmm. Heartbreak? What happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Mm -hmm. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mm, mercenaries? What'd they do? I mean, they did mercenary things. Or was this a long time ago? Oh, sure. I was with them when the corpse were leaving Monarch. Hell of a time, that. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Okay. You want... Mementos? What, photographs? Or what if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Okay. Alright, one lockbox coming right up. Uh, you want mementos? Thereabouts. Okay. Sure. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A revolutionary. be able to read that. I guess not. Oh my god, Sam is so loud. Thunk, 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 thunk. Alright, let's see where we need to go for... Okay. This is where I want to do. There we go. 
Celia. Oh, wow. The infamous Amber Heights. Sam, making blood stained clean again. An agitator. A rioter. A revolutionary. In this copy of Dissident Hunter, the hero braves the dangerous hellhole that is Monarch. Numerous edits are scratched into the text, and a number of the villainous dissidents have had mustaches and hats drawn onto them. Nice. Nice. Probably not going to steal that guy's stuff right in front of him. That probably isn't great. Boy, damn things. Bronson ain't gonna take strip screws. Mm -mm. Strip screws have no purpose. Okay, then I guess. Lies. Because there's a vending machine here. Okay. Request list. Bronson maintains a record of strange special equipment requests beyond the normal firearms, ammunition, and medicine that the iconoclasts burn through at an alarming rate. Most on his list are crossed out, but a few of them haven't been fulfilled. Force Meltbright gel may not actually exist. Dissident Hunter number 17, Auntie Cleo's Wrapped, bo wrapped Be Gone, also may not actually exist. <coughs> Excuse me. Any book on terminal repair? Primal glue adhesives. Okay, I don't know that any of that stuff exists, actually. You coming? Uh... Whatever your name was. Oh my god, Trevor? Was that his name? I already forgot. That's how much I cared, I guess. Celia. Okay. I was like looking at that trying to figure out what it was. I guess outside of the town, none of this belongs to anybody. That's Entering good to know. I guess I'll just take it all. Oh, I don't know that I want to eat that. Oh man, she's like all the way across the way here. Did I walk past her when we came in here? This guy I got. Hunting Rifle Ultra. I don't have one of them yet. Try not to get too distracted. Flawlessly 
finished. Where in the world is this person? I thought she was in town. Uh-oh, that doesn't seem good and kosher. A dead resident. Stellar Bay, are you taking over or something? Celia. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... Wait, what's that smell? The uh. plane... Odor neutralizing. Aerosol spray now. Thank you, Sam. I'm sure we all appreciate that. All right. Did you figure? this all out with your mama? Captain. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. Oof. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Uh, your son is a grown man. It's time to start treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are going to have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again. Yeah, honey. Okay, see you later, you guys. Yeah. Good luck to you, honey. You need to... Oh, Celia's in here. Could oh, yeah. I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Celia Robbins. Well, new Sanjar business turns up Nandi. at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. Nice. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Okay. We've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, that's very generous of you. No, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, <laughs> Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Why, what's wrong with your handshake? I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Sadly not. Uh, hey, it can always be both. Afraid not. If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat... Oh my goodness, I'm going to stab someone. Uh, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Um, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? If you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? 
That's a good question. Because he's scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's gonna be okay. Ain't that right? Felix, please. Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm, I understand. You're tired of, tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? Man, Felix has got... I used to be young and <laughs> idealistic, too. Attacking. You can't run a city on high-minded ideals. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. Okay. On our terms, mind you. Okay. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Felix, please. But we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Mm, this lady knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. How do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. I don't know what that if is. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Hmm. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I was starting to get bored listening to you, until you said the phrase, extremely powerful ordinance. It is quite the rush. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. My favorite way to go. I'll get you that. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Oh. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. After I read it, uh, I need to ask you something. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm at Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Chef's kiss. He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. Thank you. What else can I do for you? Uh, I've got to go. I think that's all I need. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Um, Grim asked me to check about his tossball poster, please. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But okay. I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Okay. Earlier, I heard you say you were having money trouble. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a raptodon acid. Why? Do you normally blow your money on raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much stuff from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of ah. course. He doesn't get going about much else. I see. I figured. Sort of the strong, silent type. No. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Oh. Maybe I can talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia. And she seemed... Oh. 
Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. Okay, you get back to work, honey. What do you see in Sebastian first, though? You tell me. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Well, Plus, he's got great legs. There you go. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. There you go. That's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Nope, I understand perfectly. Oh, I can hear him. I think. Or maybe that's Sam. Okay. Uh, Sebastian is right over here. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. I mean, he is very attractive. Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? No, she likes your legs. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Uh, she doesn't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Hmm. Don't take my word for it. Spend time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. There you go. I'll let her know. Oh, Celia. You've Has got a date. To yet? What did he say? He said he'll go on a date with you. Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Uh, was he like, yay, a date with Celia? No. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. You said you were very nice. Um... He likes you, just don't ask for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. There you go. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Okay. Anyhow, thank you. You're welcome. A much bigger, much bigger, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. Got any news from the rest of Halcyon? Not really. I'm kind of a space pirate. They don't talk to me much. Oh, what is this? Monarch Stellar. You're probably looking for Velma. Watch out. She's in a mood. Oh, Velma. What am I looking for here? <laughs> uh... Nope. Nope. Yes, Velma. There she is. Frederick and Velma. Hey, Velma, I got your caffeinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. No, just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Uh, nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will ya? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. Plenty of work to do, especially with so many no-shows. So... Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. I like the attitude, but... Um... I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Oh no, is his name Braxton? Your chief what? Braxton. 
Oh, He's no. in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. Ew, gross. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, <laughs> but he has creative <laughs> notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I've got some bad news about Braxton. <laughs> that he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? No, he was killed by cannibals. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. I mean, you didn't know. It's a rotten way to go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Captain herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Um... You had to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. No, don't be that mean. That about cover it? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. So it's about the money. Damn right it is. Oh, you still got the... Po You're just giving Grimm's poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. We can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. How much is that? Help me out here. I found Braxton, didn't I? Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Nice. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Mm. Who's the Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is about your foreman. Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Hmm. Um... I can talk to him. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. If he hits me Mostly. first. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Okay, let's talk about Unless Caleb. you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay, then never mind. Uh... I guess. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I... Okay. Why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Hmm. Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Okay, I'll see if Fine I by can me. get him to come back. We leveled up. Uh, sure. Okay. I mean, I don't really have anything that I'm like 
really think they will. Plenty of work to do, especially with so many no-shows. Just didn't know what to do with him, because I kind of shipped them together, but he sounds really old, and I haven't been able to get a good look at his face. He might just have one of those old voices. Sounds like wrapped in here. Oh, it Ooh. does work. I the... bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltina smell. Trust me. This is worse. <laughs> Let's give Nyoka s her stuff. Oh. It's like the back way. Which is fine because we need to go in here anyway. Bennett. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? Hello. You got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, ma'am, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. I like his hair. <laughs> what are you talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals. Oh. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. You miss the good old days? Days of consumption and culture. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? I don't think so. Besides to say, hello, nurse. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. Here's your... All of the above? No, here's your stuff. You've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Mmm... I'm glad to have you or not looking for company on the road. Just tell me how to reach the information broker. I guess. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Sure. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Um, Sam, wait on the New ship. customer profile created. Greetings, user Nioka. Nioka. So, Nioka, what's the ugliest thing you ever killed? Oh, I still have nightmares about this one. Fiercest, most foul creature I've ever faced. Just shy of seven feet tall, breath like a sulfur pool. A little slow, but strong as a mountain. Okay. If I recall, his name was George, Gregory, I don't know, some G name. <laughs> He and a band of pirates tried to ambush me and mine on the trail once. Wait, you're talking about a person? Yeah, poor guy. I think my bullets did his face a favor. Ha, ha, ha. McGuire. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drink's on me, stranger. Well, thanks. Enjoy. If you're keeping Nioka company, you'll need a few to keep up with her. Ain't a person on this planet who can keep up with me. Wait, we are talking about a drinking contest, right? 
Now what can I do for you? Uh said you're not used to seeing new faces around here. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the iconoclasts or some such. Hmm. Uh, why is this place called the Yacht Club? But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Are there any yachts in Stellar Bay? Nope. But a man can dream. Yep, you take your fancy mustache and you dream. Hello. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. Oh, honey, I've already gone and come back. Caleb. New face, huh? You from Offworld? Uh, yep. Captain Manda of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. No, thank Why you. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Uh, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, Sandra's going to fire Velma if you don't return to work. How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Uh, Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Mmm, I guess I can lie to him. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. There you go. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. Okay. Caleb's doing the talking. Talk to Caleb. He speaks for all of us. Okay. I guess. Cool beans. See, I want this gentleman to be our next person. In case I did not impress it upon you before, I'd like to enjoy my solitude. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? Man. I need to do some research and see who my last companion is. Broker. Nope, I need Velma. Real quick, before I head out. Oh my god, who? I think I'm gonna be sick. What happened? Pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I cleaned the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Just take one, don't contemplate it, and now you know I need to go and look. The bottom on the right. A murder. A murder. Hey, is this the part where we go hunting for clues? Yep. Even Stellar Bay ain't safe these days. What's the world coming to? He looks really wet. <laughs> Magnum. I mean, I guess he's not gonna use it. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a, a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from the left field toss ball betting. Toss ball betting. Okay.
This is a pretty nice apartment. I mean, it's not great, but um, from what I've seen, several ragged outfits, all of them, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. Okay. Anything else? I'm gonna take a shower. Nothing behind the toilet or anything. In the mop bucket. Okay. Oh no, not Nyoka. I don't want her to be my companion. I guess. Uh, increase your lie skill. Reduce how far the sound of your footsteps travel. Deals bonus damage to creatures. I was hoping for that other guy. How sad. Okay. I mean, we gotta solve a murder. Oh, Chef Raymond. Resident. Resident. Residents. All residents. Effort. Good day to you. Okay. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. We're used to folks swooning at our feet. No. You don't gotta be embarrassed. A healthy survival reflex is nothing to be embarrassed about. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. And why is that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. I just decided to stay in the first place. Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. I like it. You company folk are all the same. Choose to stay, then complain about the choice you've made. How was I supposed to know it'd turn out like this? It all sounds wonderful, until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Seems like you'd want more than... Seems like you'd want more than centimeters. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum, but that spaceship has flown. Ever thought about leaving? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Why don't you just tell me? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here, no one's gonna hire me. Not with that attitude. Was there something else? <laughs> or did you just want to mock me? No. Lucky you. See you later. We're not used to outside help around here. You got a fish on the floor, honey. That is not good health code processing. Um... Can't get in there. Okay. Nope. These are the apartment buildings. We need... to go here. 
Nope. Nope. Velma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. You're spatting your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. Hey. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Oh. Well, you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades-old equipment and see what it does for your disposition. Anyway, what do you folks need? Uh, Caleb. You knocked any sense into him yet? Oh, come back. I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's... awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. See? Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Thanks. Something else on your mind? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. All right. We're busting through these quests. Uh, we can do this one too. Get this to Grim. Oh, we're outside. I mean, it's not that weird, but there's water. I didn't realize there was water. Oh, I don't think I can get... What is this? Stellar Bay Ruins. No. I've... I've witnessed uh, an anomaly. A mystery. We also need to solve a murder. Put on our Sherlock Holmes boots again. Can we talk? You, me? Sure. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Okay. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Eee. Thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Okay, I'm honored you're asking, and I'm thrilled to accept. What can I do? What kind of danger are we talking about here? Nothing I can't, we can't handle. You don't know me. All right, let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. What do we need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Okay. We're going to kill a Manta Queen. Oh, yes. I can't wait. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it took us outside, but I guess.
When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. An intriguing thought. Oof, okay. Grim. Grim. Buddy. I got your poster. And then we'll be done with the episode. Because I need to go to bed. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Yep, here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. Okay. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Thanks. Man, we're leveling up like crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. Perks. Uh, let's move, let's move our, increase our sprinting speed. All right. This is where we will end our episode. And, um, where we go from here, we will just, we'll just keep going and keep going and keep going. Broker here. Okay, we'll get this next time. All right. So thank you everyone and anyone who's watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.